Today I graded old school cards with PSA. What's up guys, we're back with another insane PSA return video. If you guys saw part one, it was nuts. Go check it out. We had amazing grades, so I'm hoping that round two is just as good. But first, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Number Hunters booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite card from the submission. There's a lot of awesome ones in this one. And now let's hop into the pre-grade and see if we guessed them right. All right, let's check out these cards that we have and that we got from the collection. We did two different submissions from this collection, so let's see what we can do. We have Blackluster Soldier, Envoy at the beginning. All right, I'm not sure what that thing is. It's like a little bit of a spot right there. I don't know. I don't know what that'll do. We'll see. The corners look nice left, nice right. Bottom right, bottom left. Seems pretty good. Other than that one spot, it looks good on the front. Scratch. I see a scratch. There's a scratch right in the middle right there, but the gloss is still pretty much there. Pretty good. Top left, top right. Bottom right, bottom left. Still pretty cool. Blackluster Soldier. Very, very nice card. Okay. First edition IOC. With that splotch and with that scratch, it's considering it's not bad though. I'm going to go with an eight and I think we can get the eight on that. We'll see though how they grade that splotch. Next card is the Vampire Lord from Dark Crisis. So we have centered, kind of off centered. Top's a little bit bigger, but not too bad. The left to right's pretty good. Left corner, right corner. Bottom right, bottom left. All look pretty good. Surface looks pretty good on this. Back surface looks pretty good on this thing. I mean, there's a couple little dots. I think, yeah, you can just brush those off. Top left, top right, bottom right bottom left this is one of the cleanest cards i think the collection had very nice i think this does have gem mint 10 potential the centering is maybe the only thing that can hold it back but i'm gonna predict psa 10 i'm being a little optimistic i think that that could squeak by with the centering otherwise super clean card third card we have the masked beast first edition labyrinth of nightmare centering let's check it out centered okay top left good top right good bottom right good bottom left good surface looks good okay back surface little bit of that like, pack scuffing but that's it it's like straight out of the pack scuffing though it looks like you just pulled it that is amazing okay top left beautiful top right bottom right bottom left incredible this card looks so good the centering looks good oh man i think this also has a psa 10 chance even with that scuffing the scuffing isn't that bad let's check it out it's like you can only really see it in the light and it isn't even that bad honestly i think that i'm gonna go with a psa 10 i'm going i'm going optimistic today i think this one can get a 10 as well it looks really really good then we have the injection fairy lily this one does not have a chance at a 10 because centering as you see is off so we're really just hoping for a nine but the rest of the card was pretty clean a little bit of a scuff right there i think okay not too much then the back we have very clean back yeah that's i saw the back and i was like wow this thing is super clean top left top right bottom right bottom left i don't think we checked the front yeah corners look pretty good overall this injection fairy lily very nice so this is a tough one because it's already basically a nine because the centering it could be held back by basically anything else like including that but i still think this is a pretty nine quality card i'm gonna go with nine i could really see the actually i'm gonna go with eight because sometimes even the centering gets it down to eight but this would be an incredibly clean eight i could also see a nine though i could see that happening then we have the gemini elf so it's it's elf but there's two elves so it's always interesting to see that so top right top left looks good bottom two look good surface looks pretty amazing on this card yeah okay a little bit of that pack scuffing a little bit of just a little bit of stuff back there corners look good wow this card's really clean yeah this card is really really clean i'm gonna go with a nine on this one because it does have a little bit of scuffing on the back but i think that this is a very clean cop maybe even a 10 you never know three more cards left Let's see. We have a Genzo. We have graded mini Genzo in our day. Two PSA 10s and some other grades as well. We got to a lot of nines. Top left, top right. Yeah, this one is centering. Yeah, definitely going to hold it back. Does not have a chance at the PSA 10. But the rest of the card was pretty amazing. Uh, corners look pretty good. Yeah, corners look good. So I think this does have a 10 chance unless they go crazy on the centering. Yeah, I'm going to go with PSA 9 on this Genzo. I think we can get our third PSA 9 Genzo. I think it's possible. Two remaining cards. Here's our relinquish. We have graded this at both CGC and PSA before. I've got a PSA 10, a CGC 9.5. That was pretty cool. Wow, surfaces look incredible. Corners look good. Centering is not completely perfect on this card, though. But overall, it looks really, really minty. Top left top right bottom left bottom right beautiful card surface is very shiny Ooh, the centering i think might be what holds it back for a nine but this is going to be a super clean nine i'm going to go with nine on this one and finally we have the blue eyes tune dragon the surface incredible back service almost as good a little bit of stuff going on in the middle but not too much corner amazing looking good on the corners yeah looks really good there back corners 
I mean, I'm not seeing much in here. A couple of scratches. Centering looks good. This card, I think, is a PSA 10 Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. I think it is. We'll see if it actually happens. I'm locking in the 10. I think it's going to happen. I think this submission should get a couple of 10s at least. We will see. Now that you've seen the pre-grade, here's the box. They didn't actually seal this one. They sealed the last one. They didn't seal this one, which is kind of interesting. Let's see what we can get inside. We don't want to spoil anything. I thought they didn't grade one for a second. They did. We're good. All right, guys. Let's check out our eight cards. I can't even remember what was in this one last time was amazing so hopefully we have a comparable return here and do pretty well we had i think three tens out of eight last time and like three nines so it's pretty good surface and corners looks good on this card oh this is the blue eyes tune right off the bat okay so corners look pretty good centering is not completely perfect on this card but it's not that bad looks pretty good overall let's check out the surface on the front looks pretty nice i think i predicted like an eight nine i don't remember if i said eight it honestly looks pretty good from what i could tell but in the case this is very hard to tell let's see what the first grade was <laughs> Let's go! A Jim Mint Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Wow, what an amazing two subs. Like, I'm doing these back to back, so it feels like all one, but you guys are seeing it in two different videos. Oh my goodness, that's the way to start. Okay, that, that's a heck of a start. Let's see the corner here. That There's a little bit of whitening there. Not too much, but a little bit on that corner area. Not much there. Okay, a little bit going on on the case. Okay, no big deal. Okay, so that bottom left corner was actually super nice. Surface looks, wait, uh, pretty good there. We have, oh, Blackluster Soldier. I forgot this card was in here. I don't think this one was like PS. Say 10 quality centering is not completely perfect but similar to the blue eyes tune not too bad surface is pretty good ioc is pretty tough i mean the, the back is often you know has some scuffing on this stuff kind of like mfc but not as bad what do we get here this would be a pretty big one uh, i don't think we got the 10 i mean just because like i always think we don't get the 10 let's let's see let's see what we got a nine that's pretty awesome actually a nine a psa nine blackluster soldier envoy of the beginning that's an awesome grade. We will take that. This is a great start. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, this is great. This is awesome. I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Okay, top left corner, top right corner, bottom right corner. Is there something going on there? Not really, like a, literally a tiny speck. Okay, bottom left is amazing. Surface looks fantastic on this card. Let's see what it is. Oh, I remember this card being super minty. Let's see, the centering is, wow, that centering is like spot on from what I can tell. This, I think, is a PSA 10. I think I declared this one a PSA 10, which is pretty bold for old school cards. It's hard to actually declare and be like you know pretty sure about it this one i think is a 10 unless i miss something whoa okay that's the first one i'm surprised by a nine okay maybe i missed something honestly i thought this guy was a 10 i mean this is not a super expensive card so it's not the end of the world but i definitely thought that this was a 10 but i mean if it, we could swap this one in the blue eyes obviously i'm gonna take the blue eyes okay i mean not not the worst thing ever we'll take it okay top left i honestly thought that was a 10 i'm pretty sure i predicted a 10 maybe it was a different card but i was pretty sure that one was pretty nice back corners are pretty good man surfaces on these cards are super clean i did nitpick the best cards out of the entire collection to submit so these are the best of the best in in terms of like the actual cards mrl we recently graded a 9.5 at cgc go check out that cgc return video if you guys enjoyed that kind of video i mean in these kind of videos then you'll enjoy that one and uh there's some extra grades to look at too which is pretty cool i think the centering was a little off so this one's probably like nine at best but overall i mean the service looks really good we'll take a psa nine relinquished i think we're gonna get a nine we'll see hopefully nine eight a nine. Okay, very good. We'll take that. Relinquished MRL first edition. This is the one that like maybe could get a 9.5 somewhere, I would think, because it looked pretty clean. The pre-grade will tell all the tales that I'm forgetting right now, because I'm probably forgetting how like scratched up it is or something. <laughs> Four cards to go. I really don't remember what else we have left. Like I, I, we've already seen all the cards that I remembered. Let's see. We got a top right, maybe a tiny, tiny speck of whitening. Bottom right looks okay. Bottom right, a little bit of whitening there. Okay. Not the perfect corners, but not too bad. Oh, Genzo. Genzo was in here. He's way OC. Okay. We might be looking and an eight if they get a little crazy on that centering top left's good top right's good bottom right and bottom left so yeah probably eight maybe a nine i mean it depends on how rough they are on the centering in that back corner let's see you're meant to mid eight okay not surprised by that probably makes sense i don't know if we necessarily should have subbed that one but it's always nice to sub genzo and see all right so we might have started off with the best card of the submission with the blue eyes tune let's see if we can get another 10 though we'll take it so far not bad grades though we'll definitely take these compared with the last submission it's hard to really follow that up wow surface looks pretty good on these cards vampire lord this is another one i thought was nice so the top to bottom centering was a little bit off that was about it these dark crisis cards were pretty nice but that might be what does it in if anything does wait what corner might not be perfect there we'll see this could maybe not get a 10 then we'll see i don't know vampire lord dcr first edition secret rare pretty cool i mean there's only two secret rares in these old sets judgment of anubis sucked so this is the one you wanted let's see what we got the hobby secret 
the eight. So I think it was that and the centering. Those those corners are not perfect. Man, okay, so this one was not as nice as I thought it was. All right, no big deal. Secret rares are getting hurt. Two more cards. Let's go. Let's try and get something else good. All right, top corner is not too good there. That one's better, I would say. I mean, these corners are definitely not that good. Okay, that bottom left one's pretty good. Fairy Lily. Okay, so we're hoping for a nine on this. I mean, look at the centering. We're probably looking at another eight, to be honest. Yeah, so the eight is what we're... We're probably hoping for a nine, but maybe getting eight. Yeah, I forgot about this. They had scuffing on it. This is probably an eight, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, a nine. Whoa, that's surprising. So it has this on there and it's off center. That that would have made me think it was an eight, but honestly, a really nice looking card. We're taking the nine. I am a little bit surprised because this card was super minty, but it was off center. So I was like, it's going to get a nine. Then I noticed in the pre-grade that it has this on it. I tried to like get a little bit, you know, make it come off with the microfiber. Didn't really work. So I don't know. I guess it was enough to keep it at a nine. We'll take it. I'm not too mad about it. Final card. What's it going to be? We got a little whitening on the top left. Whitening, a tiny bit of whitening on the top right. Bottom right's good. Bottom left a little whitening as well gemini elf so a lot of secrets in this one a lot of secret rares centering looks pretty good from what i can tell so far corners look okay that corner's not too great on the bottom left surface looks pretty clean we didn't check the back surface also clean so a nine would be great on this one honestly let's just see what it got because at this point we've got eights nines we got tens i mean I i'll take a nine here let's see a nine. Okay, we'll take that. All right, so this was a lot more nine filled than the last one, but overall pretty good. We started off with our 110, which was the best card in the submission. So not really complaining here. You're not going to see me complain about that. Overall, I think a pretty epic submission. I mean, it can't compare to part one because part one was nuts. But if you guys didn't see part one, make sure to check it out because that was awesome. And if you guys enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Shout out to TCG, Trust of Cards, Tone Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Dexter Yamusa Jr. Barding, Ananda Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.